yesterday I was watching the race and I was like, dude, who, wait, that is not the color bike I'm used to seeing in the top 10. You had a great finish. Yeah, it was, uh, we weren't too far off the front pack there for a while. Tires went away late, but first part of the race was fun. It's just, you know, I see those guys on TV having a blast up front and I want to be a part of it. This is your home track. You do a lot of stuff here, so it wasn't all new to you? No, I mean, right away, you know, I was fast, you know, from the beginning, but, you know, when those guys show up, they push you that extra second. So just trying to find that extra second with the equipment we're on, it's, it's tough. It's tough, but we're making it happen. Are you going faster because you're running with these guys? Have they helped you up your game because of their pace? Absolutely. Um, you, you know, it's, it's weird. Once you get behind those guys, you see your lap times fall down, but you feel like you're pushing the same amount. It's just that that following just helps you. Can't really explain it. It just happens. Do you think you'll be able to maintain it once they're gone when you're racing club races and stuff like that, that you can continue this level that you've achieved here? Yeah, my my pace this year has been a lot better than last year. Last year was my first full season of club racing, so I'm learning fast, so I'm not trying to learn too fast where I do something stupid like throw it away or get hurt or anything like that. So it's hard to do when they're right in front of you. You just want you, like I said, it's it looks like so much fun and it is. Once you get behind those guys, it's uh, they, they teach you a lot. Then you think you're gonna try and do this full time next year, make this your day job? I would love to. I would love to. Yes, absolutely. Awesome, good luck. Thank you very much.